Welcome to the chapter Transportation. We have studied about blood and its components, blood grouping, etc. in our lower classes. Now, we shall discuss some more points related to blood. Generally, all of us are aware of the term BP. Let us learn more about it. A great deal of force is required in order to move the blood through the network of blood vessels. This force is provided by the heart. More force is provided when the ventricles contract. This forces the blood to move out of the heart and flow into the arteries. BP varies throughout the body. So, in order to measure a person's BP, a particular place must be there. So, BP is always measured at an upper arm artery. Doctors use a Spigmo manometer device to measure the blood pressure BP. There are two pressure readings on Spigmo manometer. First reading indicates the strongest pressure during the time. Blood is forced out of the ventricles. This is called systolic pressure. For a healthy young adult, systolic pressure will be around 120 mm Hg. Second reading. This reading is taken during the rest period as the ventricles refill with the blood. This is called diastolic pressure. It will be around 80 mm of Hg. BP changes as per the activity in which the person is engaged like walking, resting and running. People who have high BP during rest period will have hypertension.